Hey friends, it's Rachel with the Ponds Farmhouse and I am out on my front porch because I am going to be making a rug today. I have decided to, to do a hand painted rug for spring here on the porch. Uh, the rug that I've had here has seen better days and so uh, instead of buying a rug, I'm going to attempt to make one and I'm going to take you along on the process. Uh, if you love budget-friendly DIY projects and decorating ideas, then you're in the right place. And I hope that you'll follow along on my channel so that you don't miss any of my adventures. But first, let's get started on this new rug. We're beginning with a piece of vinyl floor covering that we are actually going to roll inside out because we're going to be painting on the back side of this. The weather on the porch is not cooperating, so I am bringing the rug inside, but I have taped off the area with wax paper and painter's tape to protect my floors before we start the painting. We're beginning the project with a base coat covering the whole back side of the rug, and this could be exterior paint or chalk paint, whatever your choice here. You do want to make sure that it dries well. Next, I'm going to be using a decorative roller for part of this project. So I'm going to measure how wide it is, and then I'm going to use that measurement to mark off around the edges of the um, vinyl floor covering. We want to, this to be an exact measurement so that when I put the roller to it, it will um, fit in there perfectly. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add painter's tape to that, those lines that I just made, and then we'll be able to paint this on without it bleeding over into other areas. Another thing I'm using is some stencils. Um, I have some stencils. i have also gonna be linking some stencils that work great for this, but you do wanna start in the very middle of your uh, design and determine what colors of paint you wanna use. Um, place your stencil and then begin to add your colors. I am moving the stencil around from place to place in the center of the rug in order to get the design that I want. Once the stencil is finished, I have painted around the edge of the stenciled area with the blue paint here. For the final step, we're going to add our decorative roller paint. This is going to be a little bit darker color and we want to uh, definitely flatten the paint first with a bare roller and then apply the paint to the um, decorative roller. And then you're just going to go around the very edges of your design and, and add the paint to it. So here I've taken the tape off and you can see the design around the edges and the stenciled area that we did and I'm going to show you what it looks like on the porch next. 